Okay. I know I pissed off a lot of Tom Scott fans, but I didn't think it would actually happen. I mean, I honestly thought that I was just one of those random YouTubers who just, you know, happened to have a voice and, you know what, nobody really cares about what this YouTuber has to say. But apparently, people do. Sort of. And I didn't think that Tom Scott would actually look at my video and, you know, put it on Twitter. Congratulations, Tom Scott. You've proven yourself to be quite a dick. You know, not that I even liked you in the first place. I mean, the only show I ever saw from Tom Scott is the Ass Duff movie or the ADSF movies. And, you know, they were alright, they were funny. But the rest, I don't give a flying fuck about. <sighs> And a lot of fans are accusing me for many things. And today I am going to confront these things. So, some of the fans are telling me that I support rape or I am trying to justify rape by saying that it's not the rapist's fault and it's never the victim fault. First of all, do you not realize on how rapists fucking work? Okay, I've seen videos from Thunderfoot, and um, he pretty he does does his research pretty goddamn well. I mean, this is his result. You know, it's often been said that the problem with making things idiot-proof is that someone will always come up with a better class of idiot. In reality, my last video on rape avoidance was really about how the probability of being raped is a string of factors, some of which you exclusively control and some of which you don't. In essence, it was just a risk-hazard analysis of rape. Sensibly minimizing the factors which you exclusively control is just bloody common sense as to do otherwise would just be to needlessly expose yourself to higher risk. However, when people are driving on emotion, the reasoned argument takes the back seat. And boy is this true, the second you mention the subject of rape. Now, by far the most common straw man that was invented was that I said that women were responsible for rape. Thunderfoot's 18 minute long YouTube treatise on why women need to be careful of what we wear and how we behave in order to not be raped. Which, of course, I never said. You can minimize your chances of getting raped. Do everything that you can to minimize your chances of getting raped and still get raped. You can minimize your chances of being killed and eaten in the wild, but still get killed and eaten but it will minimize your chances of being in such a situation while allowing you the greatest chances of achieving your desires. So there's this very popular video going around at the moment which quite rightly highlights this dismissive attitude, particularly in the Middle East and Asian regions, where women get this very short end of the stick when it comes to violence against women. Why work late and be independent? In fact, why work at all? That's what husbands are for. Fun fact, if he's your husband, it's not rape. Women who wear skirts are the leading cause of rape. However, there is part of this video, which is a very widely seen message online, that from my seat is just so bloody stupid. And this is the sentiment that just because something is against the law, that you should under no circumstances take steps to reduce your risks in such an environment. I mean, the largest straw man here is this idea that we don't teach our children not to rape. Bollocks, yes we do. Not only that, we teach them not to steal, not to murder, and to not do all sorts of other things. And yet curiously, rape, murder, and theft still exist in society. Those were two videos made by Thunderfoot, done pretty goddamn, you know, it was pretty goddamn So if you want to see the entire video, click in the link.
links in the descriptions. There's also another link to the other video that Thomas was talking about. That they're saying that I'm, you know, I am saying that the girl deserves to be raped. No, I am not saying that at all. I am saying that you can reduce the um, the risk factors by actually defending yourself, by actually, you know, becoming more responsible. Tom Scott is basically just trying to, you know, get rid of the responsibility and just tell people not to rape. Listen to me, Tomska. No one is, you know, you can tell a rapist over and over and over again not to rape. And guess what? He's still gonna rape. Same thing with a murderer. If you try to tell someone, stop murdering people, he's still gonna murder. He's, you know, he's not gonna be like, oh, okay, you told me to stop murdering people. That's fine. You know, I'll stop murdering people. No, it does not work like that. It, it goes for everything. If you remove your responsibilities of taking care of your own body by not defending yourself, by making yourself a humongous target, you're basically just, you know, writing on your forehead, please rape me. And whose fault is it for not taking care of yourself? Of course it has to be your fault. It's partially your fault. So if you drink and drive, it's partially your fault that you got that you got hurt in the accident. That you that you basically got into. If you drove sober, you would have there's a good chance that you would have drive home safely. The same thing with rape. If you gotten drunk, you know, make yourself exposed to the public, making yourself an easier target towards rapists, then guess what? You're go you're more likely going to get raped. I mean, yes, there are there's a good chance also that you can, you know, protect yourself and do everything in your power to make sure to not get raped, but you're still gonna get raped. But at least you're doing you're trying to be responsible for doing so. And I recall that you need feminism because you don't want to teach your children not to get raped. Tomska, that is completely irresponsible for, for not doing so. You need to teach your, your children self-defense. If you don't, you're not really a good father. I, I wouldn't consider you a good role model just because of that freaking, from that freaking statement. Yes, Tomska, you are a very shitty father if you have children. And what was the other reason that also pisses me off? I need feminism because the kids are not being taught to rape people. I did say, fuck you. Because I don't know where you get the idea or the impression that people are not being taught to not rape. They do teach people not to rape people. But somehow you're in this little box crammed up inside and thinking, hey, this is how the world is working out right now. You, you really are living under a rock, aren't you? Now, some of you assholes actually gone as far as to accuse me for not wanting equality. I have defended the LGB community before. There's a few videos, links in the description as well. And there's even one video where I pointed out the stupid, the, the, the most misogynistic thing that I ever saw on anywhere. And yes, I did say misogynistic. Although to be quite frankly, it's also probably mis misandronistic as well, but who cares? This is incredibly stupid. Wick created pens for women, as if saying that women are incapable of using pens or those pens were meant for men, which is not only incredibly stupid, but also kind of sexist in a way, because that's just a big fucking slap in the face. Again, links in the description. And yes, 95% of my videos are is based on feminism, 
but that's only because of Feminazi Week, which is basically a 12, 13 vid video series about, you know, just me pulling the hell out of feminists. And it was a very busy schedule. I mean, I was freaking busy as hell. I didn't even have time to add the links in the descriptions. I just left it as it is. <sighs> but, you know, this, like, let's just, you know, forget all this shit for a moment. And just focus on the idea of feminism. Feminism, saying that feminism means equality, trying to fight for equality, yeah, yeah, that's fine. But I'm not against feminism because it's fighting for equality. I'm fighting against feminism because its ideology is a failure. And you know what? If this still pisses off Tom Scott fans, then you know what? All I know is that Tom Scott fans are pretty much just freaking dick suckers. Yes. I call Tom Scott fans dick suckers. What are you gonna do, Tom Scott fans? Are gonna are you going to oh hate me some more? Look me yeah, go ahead. Just go right ahead. Show how ignorant and stupid you are. You know just from uh, you know, just for opposing your so called Lord and Savior Tom Scott. Ooh But you know what, I'm just going to put this argument in a nutshell. Okay, i got to make this quick. All the things that Tom Scott said, the reasons that he needs feminism, could be easily replaced with any other fucking word. You could say, I need fe humanism, and it still would be the exact same bullshit. And I'm a humanist, not a feminist. And don't tell me that I'm a feminist because being a feminist means you're being humanist and humanism is feminist. No, no, don't give me that fucking shit. Okay, I already explained myself a thousand fucking times. I'm not going to do this again. You know, I'm just going to say it one more time. If you use that fucking logic, then all it is is just plain stupid. I, I, I already made arguments basically talking about about how people say that you know about I'm just repeating myself now because it's really goddamn fucking stupid that Tom Scott fans out of all of them would be this stupid so to Tom Scott go ahead try to prove me wrong now go ahead you motherfucker I am the atheist gamer peace the game